I got this unit right here behind me for $50. I think I found something cool in there and I hope it really works out. Let's go jump into the unit and see what we can find. Okay, this GoPro keeps acting up, but it's okay. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? Hoping there's something in there. If not, oh, nope. not a good sign. Wah, wah, wah. Every single one. The next day. I forgot to mention that I did find one pair of toddler shoes in there that I hope to get $30 for. All right. Let's see. So really, I was just excited because I saw some totes here. I don't know the age of the stuff, what it's going to be like. I did see this shoe. It was pretty yellowed out uh, from 2013. And I didn't know what was back there. So we're going to quickly, I don't know, do we want to go boxes first or a tote first? Let's work on the front stack and then we'll get over here. The good news is, is I'm already feeling like, not 2019, it's still pretty new. I was like, am I getting some older stuff in here? Uh, just some stuffed animals, nothing crazy. Doesn't look too fragile. It's like maybe kids clothes. Just look all the way down in here. Kids clothes all the way down. this one do we have more kids clothes like this shirt looked cool through the side that looks a little bit larger we could do something with some adult clothes if we can just find the right stuff but like that's a large I don't know and don't worry, we go through these in much more detail. I'm just looking through to see if there are any cool surprises. Looks like more kids clothes. Shoes. Pretty roached out. Those are LeBron. They're pretty yellow. Another bag of loose shoes. Let's see what's in this tote bag. Oh, do we have uh, Fila's? Okay. Some Adidas. I got some, some velvet Pumas. More pieces of bathroom equipment. Fila's and Adidas cleats. Looks like Lisa Frank. Is it? Probably newer. Yep, yeah, Lisa Frank. Definitely newer, but people still love this stuff. It's got the name on it, but you know, my wife gets excited to see this stuff. All right. Going with the bag. We're going to work our way back to these totes, hoping that we see some more good stuff. Oh. See some sort of a good sign. Okay. A little dusty. Let's see how this one looks. Not bad. Not bad. I'm forgetting to tell y'all, we only paid uh, $80 for this one. Anything in here? Nope. Are we getting to some adult clothes? think so. Fruit of the Loon. 
little blanket and more kids clothes all right let's see about this one Like that Marvel tank top. <laughs> yeah, we'll go through all these clothes in detail. I'm just seeing if there's anything. Like there's a wetsuit. Huh. Let's do another bag here. I have an extra tote in the truck. So if I can't hold it all together with these bags. This look like adult lady stuff so i don't want to open the whole thing but boxes then totes and we'll peek in looks like more clothes but you never know what we'll find clothes 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 some Under Armour cleats. Costume. Feels only the screen mask. Okay. Have to see if we can get that that fold out of them. All right. Pretty beat up on the toe though. Slip those to the side. Some old flare jeans. All right, we need one of these totes to bring us like the treasure. I mean, if nothing else, we're definitely going to keep the totes. Carter's kids. Kids, kids, kids. Any shoes down here? There's a jacket. That's a big jacket. But hey, you're halfway through the video. Thanks for watching so far. But stay till the end so you can see what money we can make off of this kind of blah storage unit because we figured out some new ways to make some good money if you haven't subscribed already thanks so much if you did and thanks so much if you just hit the subscribe button leave a like and a comment below if you ever got questions for us enjoy the rest of the video okay let's get all that back in here All right, so I'll get the rest of that in the truck. I was just clearing out some space. Pulled the last three totes out. Start with this one. Okay, more toys. There's a Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Piglet, Peppa Pig house. Is that Five Nights at Freddy's? Makeup kit. That's the Maui still works. Hello Kitty. Just random stuff. Could be good yard sale stuff. Oh, is this kids? It is. Dallas Cowboys. Is this old? Made in USA. Hmm. Don't know. Does it have a year? 1996. We found a vintage shirt. I mean, kids, but somebody had it handed down. Oh, it's a cool Batman shirt. Yeah, my boys are going to love just looking through some of this stuff. We'll get it all cleaned up. Angry Birds, Star Wars, that's cool. High vent, oh look at that. North Face jacket. It's a nice, let's see, youth, 
boys medium. That's a really nice jacket. Okay. So, some pretty good, pretty good chaps. Yeah, there could be some good things that we're able to pull out of these. We still got one more tote to go. Oh, look at that. Pokemon. That's cool. Last tote. What do we have? New York and Company skinny jeans. Some kind of face or something. Fade of glory, some don't know what brand. Oh, Levi's. Hmm. It's a different tag. I don't know. We'll see. What do we have here? More Levi's. 524 Super Low. Looks like they're not the current style, but looks like ladies clothing, ladies tops. All right. So now I'm going to get this into the truck and we're going to peek at one more unit. They said, did not get bit on. We'll see if there's anything worth it. And that one. Okay, coming back to you from the house where we have been going through all of the stuff from the storage unit. A lot of clothes you saw. So I'm going to cover with you what will get us our money back because there was a lot of just other clothes. But just some ideas to show you how you can squeeze every dollar out of there. So we went through all the clothes, a lot of kids clothes. We have a store around here called Once Upon a Child, kind of like Plato's Closet, that take kids clothes in you can exchange it for credit or cash so we have a couple totes of that that we'll take on another day we'll try to update you with the dollar amount but then i'm going to also take some local donations it's raining so i had to make sure everything was covered bagged and you know lids on totes and things like that but let me show you quickly what we did pull out of this storage unit grab these pair of jordans they're pretty clean they'll probably do 20 25 dollars this victoria secret not a fast sell-through rate but we should get about 15 dollars under armor football cleats another good 20 bucks you saw that one vintage sweatshirt 1996 it is a kid size but this should bring in about 20 dollars these right here stuff for all mankind seven these will bring in about $15. And these, I think 20 or 25, these Levi's right here, they are the 524 super low. I think these do like 20 to $25. The North Face jacket, it is a boys medium, nice thick rain jacket, should do about 15 to $20. So I don't remember if I updated that I took the donations. I got $40. And you took some of the kids' clothes mm -hmm. to this little store that likes to buy that stuff. Yep. So. Got $17. $17. Two totes. So it was $57 plus roughly estimated like $110 mm -hmm. off of those items there. We still got two more totes we can take them. So we're just going to say $15. Yeah, maybe another $15 for the two so, more totes. So one twenty five. dollars Okay, so I wasn't happy with that ending because we were just like, yeah, we'll make like $150. And we had so much left over mm -hmm, we did. from what they didn't take. We didn't even take the other two totes. So we got smarter. We decided to just look on eBay and just go like, does this stuff sell? Yeah. And we were to our surprise, we had a lot of like stuff we could put in lots. The t-shirts, the jeans, stuff like that. That's what really just gives us the best opportunity to make a little more money. Mm -hmm. I think we did like nine or ten more lots. Yeah, like nine more lots. With the lowest being like ten bucks. So we just took ourselves from potentially like $150 to $250. So I just want to commend you. Good job 
of like not giving up. <laughs> yeah, the same to you. I mean, really just look it up like, okay, this is what we have left. Is this even worth doing anything Did it with? Force and us it was to be real resellers. It was like <laughs> It was like, because the easy thing was to donate, and we still did. We still donated a lot of stuff, but we really had to get the stuff that we could bundle to together, put some lots together, and please go check those comps. It's not the craziest sell-through, yeah. but you would be very supply, like surprised on kids' clothes lots. They it's do, decent. They do pretty good. So now we're going to wrap the video up. Thanks for watching, and tune back into the next video.